Why do I still feel awkward making this? Well, I've done it so many times already. Ah! Hi, my beautiful souls. So today is a shoe collection. I have some sneakers. I have... <laughs> I wanted to say a few girly shoes, but they're just two pairs. Um, I got some boots, you know. Some of these are gifted, some of these are bought myself, like most of these are bought myself, of course. Um, almost all of them are thrifted, so they're working like very close to my street. And I also don't know if you can hear that. Um, so yeah, if you can hear it, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about that. But I'm gonna try to film on the moments it's the quietest. I'm also gonna talk about how they walk, in my opinion. Um, if you wanted to buy some of these shoes. Um, the price that I paid for these. Because I do know some of you guys will be curious on how much these costed me. And also where I bought them, of course. And also some shoes that I still want to buy because I thought that would be cool to kind of like dive into with you guys. So I'm gonna start off with boots because they're the closest sitting next to me. Um, so of course to start off with we have our classic Dr. Martens. I don't have the classic ones, these are the uh, female ones because the leather is a lot softer and these fit very good <laughs> they walk very comfy as well even though walking these in was so painful right now they fit so good they are true to size I think I am going to sell these though on my Vinted and Depop because I don't wear them often enough so I don't see a reason to keep them basically that's what I'm trying to say because like I love them, they're a very good statement boot but I just don't wear them often enough and I'm like for real I think I wore these like once last year or twice so yeah an emotional connection to these as well so I don't see a reason to keep this is what I'm trying to say next up are these boots they're just a very basic, more square tone, chunky heel boots. They're like ankle boots, means a bit above the ankle. I think these are two sizes too big for me, <laughs> to be honest. But that's okay, they fit very well. Um, a very good statement shoe. And I haven't found like a prettier classic one, otherwise I'm gonna sell these as well because that's how I work. If I know I'm not gonna wear something anymore because I have a replacement for it, you know, that I like more. I just sell it because I don't see a reason to keep them if I'm not gonna wear it, you know. But for now, these are my basic black boots that fit just with everything. Um, I got these in the sale at Urban Outfitters because normally I don't shop at Urban Outfitters but um, one of my friends and I were going there and then I saw these and I saw that they were actually... Oh, and also for my dogs I paid 180 yes, and now for these I just paid 20 because they were, like I said, in sale. But they were originally, I thought, 80 euros, which is so expensive, in my opinion, for just, I don't want to say, but like a fast fashion kind of brand like Urban Outfitters, because I don't think they're sustainable yet. I don't think so. Um, so yeah, they fit very well though. If I'm ever gonna sell these, you'll find them on my Vinted or my Depop. This sounds like I'm promoting my Depop and Vinted, but that's so not true. The next up is a pretty recent one that I bought. So it are these Rick Owen boots. Not gonna lie, it's getting used to, <laughs> to wear these because as you can see, the plateau is very high. 
so you're almost like this in the shoe with your feet so it's getting used to and because of the bag is very very thin so balancing on these sometimes it doesn't really work otherwise than that putting these shoes on is annoying <laughs> but putting these shoes off is even more annoying so what I've found is like a trick to just really like not pull them here but like to really hold them and slide it over your feet uh, so it makes it easier to put them on but they are true to size because I got these in my size or did I got these in a 39? No, I got these in my own size so they're true to size but if you have some more chunky calves I don't think this is the shoe for you because I think it's gonna be too tight on top then but otherwise than that yeah it's just basic one I guess again but it's not basic at the same time because the silhouette is very unique in my opinion and I bought these on Vinted and I only paid 70 for these which is insane I love them a lot I haven't worn them a lot yet because um, I don't know just haven't I didn't have the opportunity for that but yeah that's where I bought them and I would recommend them <laughs> Um, then these are over the knee boots. These are also my last boots I'm gonna show. So these are the last boots that I'm gonna show. They're over the knee and I bought them also on sale and they are from Koi Footwear but it's vegan leather which is a plus in my opinion and it's a very comfy material. It's very stretchy and the heels are like a very chunky platform so it's very very comfortable to walk in and I paid 50 euros for these yeah 50 euros normally from what I can remember then I have a bit more like dainty shoes these aren't really like the daintiest but these are just some tiny black loafers that I thrifted in a local thrift store I paid 20 euros for these and they're just a very cute statement I think everyone needs for if you're wearing skirts or just trousers and you want a comfy shoe but make it a bit more dressy than a sneaker you know so that's that just a local dress store and then these <laughs> these are my new holy grail shoes well from my feminine shoes and are these me <laughs> Miu Miu Mi Mi I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it but the uh, buckle ballerinas and I bought these on Vinted and I only paid 50 euros for these because they were worn a lot and you can see it a bit on the sole on the inside but if you put these on you can't really tell like you can see that they're worn but it's more like a it has a lot of character character kind of worn you know so I really love these and it's just insane that I got these for so cheap I definitely 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 recommend these because these feel like you're wearing no shoes like for real like there's the leather is so soft they're so comfortable and even like the first day I had them okay they are already worn but like the first day I got them, and I wore them the whole day, I had no pain at all. Which is insane, because I have very sensitive feet, so for these to not hurt, just completed my day. <laughs> then next up are these platform sandals. I haven't worn these a lot in the summer because um, they were for my best friend first. And she gifted them to me, so thank you so much. I love you, you know that, but I love you so much. But the strap broke from one of them, uh, so I had to get them fixed, but I did. And I'm still gonna wear these in um, in fall and in winter with like knee-high socks, like the see-through socks. But I love you so much, and I'm so grateful for her, oh my god, I'm sorry, but 
I can't stress it enough. And the funny thing is, is that this is also from like a local thrift store. Like my best friend and I, we were like laughing about it that everything from that thrift store, there's something wrong with it, you know, like it, there's always something that breaks or like you find a hole that you didn't see and then the strap broke, you know, so it's like uh -huh, funny, should have seen this coming, you know, but I'm already happy that it happened at home and uh, when I was like out and about, you know, but these are so cool also because like flowers are like embroidered in it, embroidered. I can't, I can't talk today, so I'm not even gonna try to make it sound better. And they're very comfy as well. Um, this bag strap is adjustable. And I think she paid 25 for it. Like, I just got them gifted. I'm blessed. But I think she paid 25 for these. So first of all, I'm sorry because these are very dirty looking. And my mom is trying to throw throw them away for like months but yeah they look disgusting I know I'm not even gonna put a try on portion of these because no um, <laughs> but just your typical white air forces I didn't pay like the the adult price because I fitted it in the kids shoe sizes so I paid I think it's 60 euros then for the kids shoes so that's what I pay for them I already have them for years so that's why they're so botched I'm gonna buy these again because these are such a good statement piece for me because these are like a chunky white sneaker but they make, make your feet look so cute like I don't know what it is about these but they make your feet look cute and every time I wear these people say my feet look cute I know, I know, I, I'm just gonna shut up, you know. <laughs> These are the ones I wear the most right now. Geo Baskets, Rick Owens. They are so, so fun to walk in. They are so comfortable. Never had a shoe this comfortable, I think, except for like the ballerinas. Yeah, they're already a bit botched, as you can see, but it gives character to it, in my opinion. I just have to wash it a bit. Um, I paid 300 for these on Vinted. And this is actually a size smaller than what I normally am in shoes. These do run a bit big, and yeah. So I got these in a 37. And yeah, I don't know, they just fit very well. They're even still a bit roomy, even though they're like a size smaller. I don't regret buying these at all because I literally almost wear these every day. So that's that for these. Because I don't know what else I should say about these. And I freaking wear them a lot. I bought... I actually bought these because I wear my Rick Owen ones that much. And so I bought these Prada ones um, with like typical red stripe so like this is a very known model of Prada I feel like um, but I bought these on Vinted for only 30 euros which is insane and that's why I bought these as well because there is steel and you almost don't find these in like almost new condition for this price it has like a few little scratches but they're like almost not worn. You can even see it from the sole. Um, but I think the seller sold it because what I've noticed wearing these the first couple of times is that they hurted my heels. Um, like they really scratched here. And I think that's why um, she sold it. But I'm not complaining because I freaking love these shoes as well. They're just also a lot more daintier if i want to wear these with like skirts than my rick owens a bit more classy as well and yeah i'm kind of into that lately i don't know my style is kind of all over the place again so those are all the shoes that i own right now but i also wanted to talk a bit about some shoes that i still wanted to buy so first off on my 
number one that I still want to buy is like these um, Mezzo Margiela Dabby heels. I like the ones that look like white painted the most, but the black platform ones I really want as well because they're just so cute and delicate and feminine looking and they just make your they just make your feet look good, you know? Next up, what I wanted to buy, and that's also why I wanted to sell my um, Dr. Martens because I don't wear those, are these Rick Owens combat boots. I don't know the real like name of the style, but they're very chunky and I saw them on Vinted, a size smaller again, but I know they're gonna fit me because I contacted the seller, so I'll probably buy it. And you probably see it in a haul soon. <laughs> but I wanted to buy those because those just fit my style better than Dr. Martens, in my opinion. And I just know that I will wear those a lot and not like these, you know? Um, and then another boot that I still wanted to buy is like... But I never find these in my size. They're so hard to find. But are like the Derek Bickenberry's bungee cord ones, like the black ones with like the blue bungee cord. They're so cool, um, so expensive though, but it's such a statement piece in my opinion. I really would want those, but yeah, finding them is, is a real hassle. And then another heel that I actually wanted for like a really long time is uh, the black Nodaletto ones, if I'm saying that correct, because they're so yet again delicate they look kind of like french like mary jane kind of shoes um and i really love that about it but what i also like about it is that it's more like geometric looking because of the more squared um shaping of it another shoe that i saw on like this girl that i follow on instagram her feed feed as in like instagram feed not her feet <laughs> are these um, silver Mezzo Margiela heels. I really like them. I'll pop up her picture and Instagram here uh, so you can see them. I really love those. I know Prada made some of those. It's like similar style. So I'm trying to search for those because I didn't thought I would be into like silver heels. But seeing it on someone made me realize I do, you know? Like sometimes you just have to see a shoe or like a clothing item on someone before you know if you like it or not. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like this video for today. Actually, I put this on my Instagram story. You can follow me on there as well if you want to. Um, but I popped up like on my story like, uh, do you guys want like a shoe collection? video and actually quite a lot of people answered like yes actually yeah do it so that's today's video and if you can tell as well um and as you can tell i uploaded also a lot faster this time because like i said in my previous video i'm trying to upload more trying to get even more comfier with talking in front of the camera you know because i still kind of tell that like i'm comfortable but at the same time, I'm a bit shy, you know? So, yeah. Um, that's that. And I hope you liked this video. If so, I don't want to say this every time. So, like and subscribe or something. Or just comment something. Just comment what kind of videos you want to see. Or what you want me to do or try out even. Like, I'm a bit skeptic about it. Just leave it down below and maybe I'll try it out, you know? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I love you all so so much like you don't even know how much I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in my next video.